how would you define Megatronics? Well, I would like to define Megatronics as an engineering design philosophy, both design and analysis, in order to render intelligent integrated systems. It demands a very strategic and synergistic combination between various disciplines, more specifically mechanical engineering, electrical electronics engineering, software and communications in order to give better products. Better in terms of high quality, functionality, cost effectiveness, robustness and maybe added intelligence to them. Mechatronics engineering is a formally accredited branch of engineering in Australia like other developed nations and strong demand exists uh, from large global enterprises in automotive, aerospace and consumer product industries as well as in small, innovative, high-tech companies supplying parts and equipment. We have a very comprehensive and rigorous course structure to deliver what the practicing engineer needs, the knowledge, the skills, the tools embedded throughout the curriculum. And students have a choice to graduate either with a direct honors degree in mechatronics or combine it with arts, commerce or science to get double degrees. The course involves a balanced mix of uh, theory and hands-on experience, lab practice, including experiments and projects at all levels. Uh, it starts with an introduction to systems engineering at the foundation level as an elective to all students in the generic engineering year, which is made compulsory to level 2 to all those who are opting for mechatronics. And year 2 involves basic core units running in parallel from both mechanical and ECSC departments to have a deeper understanding of each discipline and a product unit involving sensory intelligence and control. Here is one example. The aim is to identify specified types of jars from a conveyor belt or a turntable and this is possible by embedding various types of sensors to detect the color, the contents and level of those contents in the container. Inbuilt logical control allows to open or close a chute for accepting or rejecting the jars as programmed. The integration starts to happen during level 3, uh, more so in semester 2 of level 3, whereby embedded co-taught units are delivered on common topics between the two departments with uh, discipline specific examples. And the project unit, TRC3000, gives them some real life exposure and hands-on practice. It encourages peer learning by introducing healthy competition between project groups and here are some TRC project examples. Yep. Advanced integrated units such as robotics and advanced control as core units as well as various elective subjects are offered at level 4. The electives are tuned with high MDQ, the mechatronics design quotient, so that the students can opt based upon their aptitude uh, either more inclined towards CCSC domain or mechanical and manufacturing for their final year projects or in tune with their aspirations for future jobs. Some of our FYP students also take part in research projects by teaming up with graduate research students. Uh, some share their experience in the following videos.
I'm currently studying mechatronics engineering at Monash University and my final year project involved working as part of a team on this mechatronics test rig. My part more specifically involved capturing data from an ultrasonic sensor and then displaying the output on a graphic user interface where post-processing analysis may be performed. So we're final year students doing mechatronics engineering and um, we're currently doing our final year project as part of the Monash Unmanned Aerial, aerial Systems team. We're on the avionics team, so we're responsible for the ground station communication between the plane and um, the ground laptop, uh, as well as the image capturing and the GPS coordination. So, so there's a lot of programming involved.